Hi, welcome to my shop. Today I am looking to build another one of these. Uh, I know it probably looks a little crazy on camera going, what is that thing? Uh, we actually use it in our house to hang masks during this pandemic. So after we hand wash them, hang them up, right next to the sink, they can dry. We take it over by the door, set it there. Kids grab them as they head out to school. When it gets low, we take the dirty ones, do it again. So uh, this is my simple one. I've built a couple of these. Today we're gonna build a little bit more deluxe version, I suppose. Uh, let's get started here. So I'm using some simple one by pine and some dowels. Uh, this one's gonna have a different, you want to hold mass, the gator ones. So we're gonna put a dowel on for that. Um, but we've got our pine measured out here, and I'm gonna go ahead and get that cut up. Uh, 16 inches in length, 16 inches high. I'm cutting the top piece, which is gonna be the same length as the bottom, just so it spans the entire width like this one does. So basically they're even. The dowel, I still haven't decided if I'm gonna make it a little shorter or make it the same, but we'll get there in a moment. So let's get these cut. Now that we've got those cut, we're going to use some simple pocket holes to put that together. Uh, we'll take you over to the pocket hole in the area and get that going. Let's go ahead and get some pocket holes drilled in this pieces of wood. At this point, we're gonna go ahead and put a chamfered edge on all of them. Um, on the bottom here, I have marked where I want to stop. And not on that one, that's the top. This is the bottom here. Uh, where I wanna stop that so that it doesn't meet with this. But this one, we're just gonna put it all the way around. This one, we're gonna put it pretty much all the way around this one. So let's go ahead and get those on there. Oh, I like that. I definitely like that. And then, yeah, I think we need to route both sides of that one. Okay. So, got that there, that there, that right there, and a dowel that'll be over there. So, I've gone ahead and drew out a grid here putting one hole about every one and a quarter inches. Um, I've done one inch on the past ones, seems a little close. Since this one's gonna have more room for more hooks, we're gonna go one and a quarter, plus one in the center. So that'll make one, two, three, four, 21 passes it'll hold, so not bad. Plus we have the dowel that will 
I'll show you. You could always string some on there. So we'll go ahead and get these drilled out on the drill press. Now I have this set up because I've been drilling them into dowels using this setup here to hold the dowel straight. And so I can get them all in a line. And then I've got that on the table and I can move it around here. But in this case, I'm not doing the dowel. So I have these blocks, which will bring this up to the right setup because I don't want to adjust the height. Just preference, it's already set for the dowel. So and I'm going to make more of those at some point. So we'll go ahead and get these drilled out. We got all those holes drilled. Go ahead and take these off for now. That's where all our little hooks will go that I have over there. Um, sorry, probably a bad camera angle. I have a small shop and the next spot to put you would have been outside and if we're in Minnesota, it's a bit chilly. You wouldn't have wanted to have been outside. I wouldn't have wanted this door open. So it is snowing and blowing and cold out there. Uh, let's go ahead and get these finished sanded up and then we'll go back and get them pocket holed together. So. get this one positioned where we want it which is going to be right there on the edge of that and the edge of that which is why I bought these because a lot of my stuff tends to walk on me as I'm putting it in and that's what I was getting annoyed with so I wanted some way to keep it positioned where it's supposed to be while I screw it down. So we'll see how this works. We've got that in there, it's pretty solid. Lined up where I want it there, lined up where I want it there. Go ahead and take our one and a quarter inch pocket hole screw, get it on there, and our driver. And I think that was pretty slick, we'll go ahead and Pop this out now. Another screw. Without moving anything, we'll go ahead and drive that one in. We have another one to do here, so I think we'll do that because I think we'll get a better look at it this time. Because this one's on the back side, so we'll go ahead. I think we'll clamp this down to help us keep everything steady. We'll get this on here. If you can see that right there, I've got three on this one. So we're gonna go ahead, put our clamp right on that middle one, I think. Yep. And then I want it right against that back edge, which what happens normally is they walk in on me and I end up with a little gap there. I got to go back and sand. So we've got her lined up. Just give her a little tightening twist there. Okay. All lined up, all holding nicely. Go ahead and get our first pocket hole screw. Right here. I've got this rigid impact set on one so that we don't overdrive them because I tend to do that and I'm learning how to turn things down, get them in there nicely. No issues. 
go ahead and unclamp it, pull that off. Go ahead and put this in. There we have it, nice and stable. That worked out great on those. That's probably the best I've driven pocket holes yet. Went ahead and got everything pocket holed up, as you recall. So we're gonna go ahead now. And this is a dowel here. We're gonna put this right on here. Um, I gotta go ahead and mark where I want it drilled. What this is for, we're gonna put it out here towards the edge, a little risky, but um, those neck type gator masks that go over, they don't hang very well. So you can go ahead and just slide that on here. And then you'll have a way to go ahead and put those masks on. Um, you could also hang extra masks on here. So uh, we did go ahead and we made it a little long, so we're gonna have to cut it down a little bit more here. Um, fact, I think the one we were supposed to use was that one, but we already edged this one, so we're gonna just cut it down a little bit. So we're just going ahead and marking out where we want it. It's gonna be right up in this corner. It's a little bit of a tight fit, but we should be able to get it. Sorry about the noise there. The saw does not have a break. It's a bit old, so it's just winding down. Not much I can do. I ain't sticking my hand on there to stop that thing. So uh, we'll go ahead and get this drilled out here. And let's go ahead. I think I'm gonna punch the middle just to make sure we get right down that middle because we are so close here. And then we'll sand off that little bit of uh, Unfortunately, that guy chipped out badly on me. That was a mistake. So, but we can fix the mistake somehow here, I'm sure. Yeah. We'll go ahead and get that glued in there. Figure out what we're gonna do on that little piece there. What you'll see I did here, I'll show you. Yeah, it just chipped out. I don't, probably needed a piece of wood there to keep that from happening against it. Live and learn. Um, I'll fix it up somehow, I'm sure. Uh, maybe we'll just go ahead and cut it flat and get a piece that will fit right on there and glue it all together. So, um, not much I can do, we'll just, Fix her up, it's still gonna function, it's still gonna work fine. Uh, nobody will know, and we'll go from there. Okay, our next step, now that we've got it all together, is that we are going to put some Minwax pre-stain on it. Uh, before that, I wanted to show you, so yeah, we made a mistake there, we had a blowout. So I drilled a hole, put a screw through there, it's solid. Um, in fact, I didn't even glue this one because it's in there so solid now that it's screwed. Um, you know, it is what it is, made a mistake, fixed it up, I'll just sell it for a little bit less if I do put it up for sale, this one may just go into my own home, we'll see, because the one we have is the prototype and it's, it's nearly as pretty as this one if that surprises you at all. So we'll get this pre-stain on here, we just basically dip the rag, wipe it on everywhere. Uh, we're gonna leave this sit for about half hour. Um, if we don't do this with this construction grade lumber, we will basically end up with a poor standing on this. And we're gonna stain this one. So. Now that we let our conditioner sit on there for a half hour, we'll go ahead and get the stain on. Uh, today, on this one, a stain I haven't used before. We're using the Verithane Ebony Wood Stain. I've been wanting kind of a darker look. Um, 
the nice things with these mass projects is I just kind of keep picking up these little jars of stain one at a time, trying them out on these just to see how they look. And kind of giving me some experience with different colors, different masks. Um, even paints, I painted one dark brown, that went over well. Um, I've done a dark walnut, but that came out lighter, so that's why I thought I would try this one here and see what this looks like. Uh, just using a rag, just go ahead and pop it on there and wipe it around. I should do the bottom first. Since it won't be visible, I just set it on the wood here after I do it, and I don't tend to worry about it. But I do like to get a coat on there just so it's not bare. I think they make an espresso that's between this ebony and... Um, that dark walnut. I might have to try that next or go see if there's something. I kind of want that wood color still. This is a little darker than my I was thinking, but it's okay. Somebody will like it. it. May not be my thing. Maybe it's somebody else's. See now, now that I did that, it's got that kind of a neat green color shine to it. So maybe I, maybe I do like this more than I thought. Won't be anything we do with that now until tomorrow, so we'll get to finishing that after it dries. Next step on this, guys, we're gonna get it finished off. Um, using a Minwax water-based polyacrylic acrylic spray. Um, you know, I wasn't sure what to use, lacquer, this, that. Um, I am painting some of these. The poly can go over everything I'm doing with paint, stain, and it will protect it. Since I designed these to basically hold masks while they're drying, there is going to be some water there, so I wanted to keep the water from getting into the wood and penetrating it. So we'll get this sprayed up, uh, let it dry, and then our last step would be to add the hooks. Okay, we're in my office today because, well, it is minus 9 degrees when I got up this morning and a minus 27 wind chill, so the shop's a little cold. Uh, I don't have the wood stove going, so it's, I'm guessing, about minus 9 out there. So I uh, wanted to show you the last part of this mask holder here that we've got. So I do have some masks on there, some keys. Uh, the last steps we did before this part after sealing it up with the sealer was put the hooks on. Now we drilled those holes beforehand and then these are just some Amazon hooks. I'll put an affiliate link down below for you and basically twist them in. It's as simple as that. And then it is all set to go. Uh, we use a holder similar to this in our house. Basically when we hand wash our masks, we hang it up on here to dry them. And then we take the whole thing and put it by the door and the kids grab their masks as they leave. It could also be used for keys, um, kids' gloves to dry them. So it does have other uses. Uh, this one in particular, as we can see, has that dowel holder for those over-the-head neck gaiter type masks. And you can kind of customize to whatever you need. I mean, if you needed two of these, you could put one on each side and put a smaller hook layer you could put no hook layer it's just use dowels across it so 
Um, and I did want to show you the one mistake I did make. When I drilled out this hole for this dowel, it tore out. So I'm not gonna hide the mistake. I basically have glued in the dowel and screwed it in with a little screw there. So um, once I stained it, it pretty well matches. So, you know, there it is. And then we did use a ebony stain on that. So it did come out pretty neat looking. Uh, again, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, hit that like button down below. Go ahead and subscribe. And we'll be back in the future. Thanks. Bye.